Welcome to another video. This is a problem from the Canadian Euclid math contest and it's an exponential trig equation so everything falls within the region of algebra so if you are a 12th grader you are expected to be able to answer this question. So without any further explanation I'm just going to go ahead and solve it. It was sent in by Dan the man. It was the first part of the other question I had previously solved. Let's get into the video. So we're supposed to find all values of theta from 0 degrees to 360 degrees so we don't have an infinite number of solutions. We have a finite number of solutions which makes this beautiful because I can, I can look at this, look at these bases. Everything is a power of 2. And so this is going to be 2 to the 2 to the 1 plus cosine cubed theta on the left. And on the right, I have 2 to the 2 minus cosine theta multiplied by this 8 can be written as 2 to the 3rd. And then I have this as cosine squared theta. So clearly, because all the bases are the same, and this is cool, this is cool, this is cool, because it's greater than 1, 2 plus 2 cosine cubed theta. And on this side, I'm going to have 2 minus cosine theta. And because this is multiplication, I'm going to be adding the exponents, 3 cosine squared theta. So let's clean up. Well, this is the highest exponent here, so we're going to keep this and move everything else in this side. Well, by the way, I see 2 here, I see 2 here. So it means I can subtract 2 from both sides and these two 2's will disappear. So that what I have left is just 2 cosine cubed theta. Let's write minus cosine theta plus 3 cosine squared theta. So if we collect everything to this side, we're going to have... 2 cosine cubed theta, let's go minus 3 cosine squared theta, we have plus cosine theta equals 0. So the way things are, it looks like I can factor out cosine theta and start solving. So I have cosine theta factored out is going to give us 2 cosine squared theta minus 3 cosine theta plus 1 is equal to 0. I have cosine theta equals 0 or 2 cosine squared theta minus 3 cosine theta plus 1 equals 0. Now remember if cosine theta is 0 what angle will theta be? Theta has to be 90 degrees or it has to be 270 degrees, 270 degrees. So from this, I can say theta 1 is 90, theta 2 is 270, but I still have another equation here to solve. So let's put it here. Theta 1 equals 90, and theta 2 equals 270 degrees. Okay, now let's solve this one. So we need to do this by factoring because I see if I multiply 2 by 1, I get 2. So what two numbers will you multiply to get 2? But when you add them, you get negative 3. Well, it's negative 1 and negative 2, right? So that's what we're going to do. So this is going to be 2 cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta minus cosine theta plus 1 equals 0. So I've replaced the minus 3 cosine theta with this. That's how you factor, in case you didn't know. So, what's common? I get 2 cosine theta. From these two, I'm going to have cosine theta minus 1. And here, what's common? Nothing. So I take out 1, and then that's going to be cosine theta minus 1. So I end up with 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals 0, or cosine theta minus 1 equals 0. And if we solve this, this is going to mean cosine theta equals one half or cosine theta 
equals 1. So from this first one, you find all angles where cosine of the angle is 1 half and it has to be positive. Well, we know that, let's call that theta 3, will have to be equal to, um, that's cosine 60 degrees, so that's 60 degrees. We also know there's another angle, theta 4, is going to be, um, what is it? Another angle where this is, so it's going to be down here where cosine is positive, that's going to be 300 degrees. Okay, and when we come here, when is cosine equal to 1? Well, when cosine is 0 or when it is 2 pi, which is 360. So we have theta 5 equals 0 degrees and theta 6 equals 360 degrees. I know I labeled them, but not in that order. I wanted to go from small to big. So I can say, therefore, theta will be equal to um, theta values are, let's go from the smallest angle, is zero. Zero. So we go from zero to 60 to 90. Yeah, zero, 60. 90. After 90 degrees, what else do we have? We have 270, 300, and 360. 270 degrees, 300 degrees, and 360 degrees. Any of these angles will satisfy this equation. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.